Have you ever pondered about the true essence of giving and generosity? It's a concept deeply rooted in our societies, often perceived as an act performed by those with plenty, those who can afford to part with a portion of their wealth without feeling the pinch. This notion however only scratches the surface of the profound depths of true generosity. The paradox of giving introduces a different perspective. It proposes that sometimes the most significant gifts come not from the overflowing coffers of the wealthy, but from the humble pockets of those who have the least. These are the gifts that carry immeasurable weight, not in their monetary value, but in the sacrifice and love they represent. The gifts that are given not from abundance but from a place of scarcity, a place of true selflessness. Today we delve into a profound story that encapsulates this paradox, the widow's offering. Picture this, a busy day at the temple treasury in Jerusalem. The grand structure bustles with life, resonating with the clinking of coins and the murmur of many voices. Wealthy patrons, dressed in their finest robes, make their way towards the treasury, their hands heavy with bags of gold and silver. One by one, they approach the treasury, their faces beaming with pride as they toss their hefty contributions into the temple's coffers. The sound of their wealth echoes through the halls, drawing admiring glances and whispers of approval from bystanders. The air is thick with the scent of affluence, a testament to their abundant blessings. But amidst this spectacle of wealth, a humble figure makes her way towards the treasury. She's a widow, her clothing simple and worn, bearing the marks of a life touched by hardship. Her presence is almost ghost-like, her steps quiet and hesitant, a stark contrast to the boisterous display of the affluent. She carries no bags of gold, no heaps of silver. Instead, in her weathered hand, she clutches two small coins. They're all she has, these two seemingly insignificant pieces of copper. Yet, they carry a weight far beyond their physical measure, a weight of sacrifice and faith. Her face is marked not with pride, but with a quiet resolve. She moves forward, her steps echoing in the grandeur of the temple, her humble offering a stark contrast to the opulence that surrounds her. And there, under the watchful eyes of heaven, she gives. She drops her two small coins into the treasury, their sound barely audible amidst the din of wealth. Yet, their significance is profound, a testament to her unyielding faith and her sacrificial giving. In the midst of the abundance, a lone widow steps forward, unnoticed by many. She's a testament to the paradox of giving, a symbol of the profound truth that it's not the amount we give but the spirit in which we give that truly matters. This is the scene at the temple treasury, a scene that speaks volumes about the heart of giving. With a quiet dignity, the widow makes her offering. In this moment we find ourselves standing shoulder to shoulder with an unnamed widow, a woman of humble means, yet profound faith. Her approach to the treasury is not marked by pomp or grandeur, but by a simple profound act of giving. She carries in her hand two small coins, the smallest denomination of currency in her time. They are insignificant in the eyes of the world, almost invisible amongst the larger, more substantial contributions of the wealthy. But these two small coins hold a weight far beyond their physical measure. For these are not just any coins, these are the widow's last two coins, her entire livelihood, the sum total of what she has to live on. Yet, she chooses to give them away, to offer them up at the treasury, this is not a thoughtless act but a decision born out of deep faith and an understanding of what true generosity means. She could have held on to these coins, used them for her own survival, but she doesn't. Instead, she gives them away. She gives, not out of her surplus, but out of her poverty. She gives, not because she has much, but because she has little. And in doing so, she gives everything. Her two small coins echo loudly in the silent treasury, their sound a testament to the depth of her faith and the magnitude of her sacrifice. They are a stark contrast to the grand donations of the rich, who gave out of their wealth, but held back their all. The widow on the other hand, held nothing back. She gave all she had, all she had to live on, and in this act of giving, she demonstrated a generosity that far exceeded the sum of her two small coins. She showed us that true giving is not about the size of the gift, but the heart of the giver. In her humble offering, we witness an act of unparalleled generosity. Now you may wonder, what makes this widow's offering so significant? This scene is all about understanding the concept of giving out of poverty versus abundance. Imagine a room filled with wealthy individuals all making grand donations with ease. Their contributions are large, yes, but they are made from their surplus wealth. They give, but not to the point where it affects their lifestyle, 
not to the point where they feel any pinch. The money they donate, while generous, is money they won't miss. It's money that doesn't change their circumstances or force them to make tough choices. Now, picture the widow. She steps forward with just two small coins in her hand. It's not much, is it? Certainly not when compared to the vast donations made by the wealthy. But here's the catch. Those two small coins are all she has. She's giving away her entire livelihood. It's a sacrifice, a true sacrifice that comes with consequences. She's giving all she has to live on, a decision that will undoubtedly impact her life in a significant way. This is the crux of the lesson in giving. It's not just about the amount you give, but the sacrifice that accompanies it. The widow's two coins may not have been much in terms of monetary value, but they represented a profound sacrifice, a deep commitment, and a level of generosity that far surpassed the larger donations. When we give, we must ask ourselves are we giving out of our abundance, or are we giving in a way that truly costs us something? Are we making a sacrifice, or are we simply parting with a portion of our surplus? This is the heart of the widow's lesson. True generosity is not measured by the size of the gift, but by the size of the sacrifice. It's about giving until it hurts, about making a difference, about putting others before ourselves even when it's not easy. The widow's offering teaches us that the value of a gift is not in its amount, but in the sacrifice it represents. It's a lesson in giving that challenges us to be more like the widow, to give not just from our abundance, but from our very livelihood. So, what can we learn from this poignant story? First and foremost, we've explored the paradox of giving. It's not about the size of the gift, but the heart from which it comes. We've seen the contrast at the treasury, where the rich gave out of their excess a stark difference from the widow's humble offering of two small coins. This widow, in her poverty, gave all she had to live on. Her gift, seemingly insignificant in the eyes of many, held immeasurable value. It was a testament to her faith, her trust, and her unwavering devotion. And the lesson in giving? It's not about the quantity, but the quality of the gift. It's about the sacrifice. It's about giving not just from your wealth, but from your want. The Widow's Offering invites us to reevaluate our understanding of generosity, reminding us that true giving is about sacrifice, not abundance.